Hey guys, in this video, all you need are a deck of cards and something like clothespins or paper clips, whatever you have laying around the house that you can use to keep things together. So what I am going to do is flip over a card. And look, I got 10. So I'm gonna take 10 of whatever I'm using and try to attach them to the card. Let's see, so I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, it might get my finger. You gotta be careful. Make sure you don't hurt yourself doing these. And 10. Now that's a lot of clothespins on here. Does it match? Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna take them off because I'm done with it and put them back in my pile. I'm gonna put that one aside. And let's say I flip over another one. And look, you can do the same thing with five. So I can do five, two, three, four, five. There you go. It's very easy to do. But let's say you get a face card. Now, what value does a face card have? It doesn't have one in this game, so we don't need them. So just put them aside. Any of your face cards that you have in your deck, you can take out because you won't need them. Uh, and then we can also play a fun game using these clothespins and cards. So let's say you flip over the number eight and you need eight of something. So let's see, I'm gonna put one, two, three, four on here. Does four equal eight? No, but let's say I want to start getting creative with how I put things on here. So that's five. Oh, this one doesn't want to stay. Six, seven. Oh no, it's getting in. It's getting crazy. Eight. Oh, it fell. It's okay. See, you can do all kinds of crazy things with these. You just gotta get creative. Let's see, I'm gonna put this one like that. And look, I even made a square unintentionally. Do I have eight on here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Does that match the card? It does. All right, have fun, friends.